Hello, CloudSolvedIT.com users. I'm Martin Montoya, and I am here to bring you a OneDrive setup video for your Mac, MacBook, MacBook Pro, Mac Workstation, Mac, 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 Mac. Um, I'm gonna show you how to set up your OneDrive so you can access your files seamlessly across any device, whether it's your PC, your Mac, your iPad, your iPhone. I'm going to assume that you already have OneDrive installed on your Mac. It is part of the Office Suite and we covered it in our Office 365 setup video. If you need help in getting this installed or setting up your accounts, please give us a call. We're always happy to help. So with that being said, I'm actually gonna turn on our screen sharing here, just like that. Now you can see the screen. And uh, we're gonna go jump right into our OneDrive setup. Um, requirements in order to complete this successfully. You need your username, you're gonna need your password, you're gonna to need to have OneDrive installed. Uh, with that being said, let's open OneDrive on our dock here. It's the happy little clouds. I'll click on OneDrive and it's gonna ask us to log in. I'm going to log in with our demo account, which is demo at cloudsolvedit.com and let's sign in. It's gonna bring us to our password sign in as well. So enter your password. Oops, you're typing in the right box. Enter your password and check the little keep me signed in box and sign in. It's gonna say this is your OneDrive folder. Say next to take the default location. Note where it sticks it. It's actually gonna be under your username OneDrive. We need to know that because we're gonna to get to create an alias to it, i.e. a desktop shortcut. So now you can see uh, sync files from your OneDrive. I'm gonna say yes, sync all files, hit next. OneDrive is ready. So at this point, uh, the OneDrive client signs in. You can see it starts to sync up all of the folders. Anything with blue icons, little sync arrows means it's synchronizing. Anything that's in green means it's downloaded. All right, so we've got our OneDrive installed. Uh, issue with the Mac is, is you don't necessarily know where all those files may reside. It does get pinned in your finder. In the left column, you're gonna see a OneDrive at cloudsolvedit.com folder. That isn't necessarily convenient for everybody and everyone. So to actually get it to show up on the desktop of the Mac, let's right click on it and hit show and closing folder. And that's gonna show us the actual location of that OneDrive folder. Now, right click on that OneDrive folder and then go to Make Alias. Click Make Alias and it's gonna create a shortcut we can just put right there on the desktop of our PC or <laughs> on the desktop of our Mac. Let me just give this a new name. We're gonna call this OneDrive. Oh, terrible spelling. Rename that one more time. OneDrive and when I double click on it, It'll bring me right into my files where I can see my desktop files and stuff. So on the desktop of my PC, you can actually see there in the left column, um, there's that document. Let's see, I'll click on it over here. So here's the document on the PC, video cloud demo, and there's the document on my Mac. I'm gonna delete that from my Mac. Poof, deleted. And now that file is gone from the desktop of the PC. Poof. OneDrive, doesn't matter if it's PC or Mac, pretty slick stuff. So again, the things you need to complete this video properly, actually let me turn off my screen sharing, turn off my AirPlay, is going to be your username and password in about two to three minutes of your time. Uh, again, my name is Martin Montoya with CloudSolvedIT.com. Thanks for watching this OneDrive tutorial video set up for Mac OS X. Uh, feel free to like, comment, or leave us any recommendations for features and videos you want to see in the future. Again, thanks for watching. I'm Martin Monta with CloudSolvedIT.com, serving the solutions that work.